again, just looking to build up from the back. What an authoritative performance this is. One minute of added time left. Wrexham 3 0 up at Cardiff Met, another team that would expect to be up in the top three, top four. And Wrexham will put on another good show. Doran knocks it long, headed clear. Here's Lily Jones now driving into the danger area. Cute work by Suckley, beats the player, pulls it in, it's blocks. Jones is there to drill it. Good save. Really good save. Close range shot by Lily Jones. That could have been the fourth. And again, Cardiff Met playing dangerously at the back. Hughes catches a player. That'll be a yellow card. Bit of an overreaction, I think, to the challenge, but it was a, a harsh one. And the referee goes to the pockets. Hughes is walking off. Yeah, it's a red. Well, she sent her off for that. She showed a, a yellow. I didn't notice her being bucked earlier in the game, but Rosie Hughes will have a suspension now. One match suspension. In fact, she's now turning around and maybe realizing she's been sent off. I don't think she realized it. But Hughes is off. A dramatic conclusion. An unnecessary yellow to pick up. I gotta say, I don't recall Hughes getting bucked. Um, and remember, this ref did buck the wrong player for Cardiff Met earlier. But a uh, shock for Wrexham right at the end of the game. We're over the added nine minutes now, but Rosie Hughes dismissed. That's a lovely little pass, and Wrexham break down the left hand side with Whitefoot. Suckley is the target. Wrexham have won this comfortably as Suckley can't come out with the ball. Lovely little roulette. Uh, by Houghton, driving down the right side for Swansea. Uh, giving it away, and Pritchard now, on the break, Suckley is there. Well, that's cynical. And the ref has to get a card out for that now, surely. Webb just took Pritchard out. She's doubled over on the floor. It is a yellow card. And Mike, the ref, has just told me, Rosie Hughes got bucked for kicking the ball away in the fourth minute of added time. So, yeah, there's no escape from that. As it's a second yellow, it will be um, a one-match ban. Sadly, it'll be away to Swansea, which is going to be a, a proper test for Wrexham because we've come through the last three matches brilliantly. Now, TJ Deckins tries the long-range shots, pulls it off target. We've played a hundred and a half minutes now, and you'd think the referee is going to come close to drawing this to a conclusion. She goes... Cardiff time to build one once more. Odd load of a lovely little back heel into midfield. Cochrane spreading it to the right hand side. And Wrexham again get the defensive shape back. Ten players now for Wrexham, but as Cardiff come down the left hand side, they're not committing that many players forwards. It's fed in towards the edge there again. Odland just tidy on the ball, but Dickens won't let her turn. And Cardiff Mess seem to have slowed down to invite the referee to blow the final whistle. 102nd minute this as the ball's played in. Ricochets beyond sharp. Chance for a goal for Cardiff Mets driven in. And anchors again. Third choice keeper brought in from the youth team. And she has kept a clean sheet. And she just secures it with a sharp save low to her left after Audland has driven it across her. Good performance this by the young keeper. A lot of great positives for Wrexham to take out of this. And there is the final whistle. A huge win. Just think about it. The three teams are competitors for the places in the top four after Cardiff City and Swansea. We've beaten them all in consecutive games. And to win at Cardiff Met, a team that has won the league five times in the 2010s, that is a superb achievement by Wrexham. We lost Karen Allen to a nasty blow to the head, although she seemed to look okay in the dugout afterwards. We had to dig deep, but the performances were there. Wrexham played with heart and ultimately, in the second half, took the chances. Hughes feeding in a lovely ball to the edge of the area for Cara Jones to have a shot, which was deflected just off target as Wrexham pushed on the start of the second half. And Karen Allen, like I said, took the ball to the face and was Knocked out, it seems, but thankfully she looked okay on the dugout afterwards. The first goal, brilliant work by TJ Dickens. Pressuring and sliding in on the goal line to win the ball back. Rosie Hughes, eight yards out on the turn. Hit a shot, which is maybe a little bit scuffed, but it was a defender blocking the keeper's view and possibly just getting a little nick on it. Brilliant work by TJ Dickens, though, to slide in round the side of Webb and feed the ball back like that. And Hughes hits the target. That's what goalkeeper strikers do. And although it's not... The best strike, 
It's 101st goal. Then she pulled the ball back nicely to the edge of the area for Lily Jones, who persisted, battled away, got a sight of goal and drilled in a shot, keeping it well to grab hold of it. Before Hughes again, surrounded by defenders, managed to help her onto light, but brilliant first time pass inside. Suckley set herself, I beg your pardon, Gibbard set herself and then dinked it over the keeper. A glorious goal by Mary Gibbard to give Wrexham a 2 0 lead. Lovely first time awareness by Whitefoot to pop the ball inside and what a chip, lovely dink by Gibbard. Brilliant goal. And Wrexham, having had a dig in in the first half, were really opening Cardiff Met up. Whitefoot with a Fine ball down the left channel. Rosie Hughes beat the last defender, drilled in the shot, keeper saved, and then came out quickly to block the rebound. Hughes patting her on the back to congratulate her. Cardiff Met looking to pose a threat. Audland setting herself well and drilling a shot, which acres, uh, anchors, beg your pardon, held well. And then it was Hughes bursting down the left hand side. Brilliant work, change of pace, beats Webb. Perfect ball in for the sub, Suckley. And she slotted it into the bottom left corner. And Wrexham. Had the three-goal lead, which would prove to be decisive, although the drama wasn't quite over yet. Because, well, firstly, Cardiff Met would try to put a bit of pressure on Wrexham. Davis is back pass to Anchors, and the one shaky moment for Anchors, trying to pass it back to Davis, gave it straight to Audland, who tried to chip it, put it just over the bar. If she'd squared it, there was a player waiting for a tap-in. And then Pritchard feeding it into Suckley on the edge of the area, deep into added time. She helped it on. Lovely first time ball by Rosie Hughes. Lightfoot put it in the net, but it was disallowed for offside. Tight call. And then, well, an incident where Hughes went in late, clipped the player. It was a bit of a dramatic reaction, but she did lunge in and, and catch her. And she'd already been booked for kicking the ball away. And so, in consequence, she got a red card. Last chance fell to Cardiff Met. Side footed shot, well held to her left by Anchors. And Despite Rosie Hughes' sending off, which will lead to a one-match suspension, a brilliant day for Wrexham. A 3-0 victory away to one of the sides that we're measuring ourselves against. And our excellent first season in the top division continues. It's been a pleasure to bring the game to you. As always, this, the women's team's adventure is as captivating as the men's. And another great win on the road. Another great weekend for Wrexham Football Club. I'm quite enjoying this now. It's taken, yeah, it's, it's taken 40 years of watching them to start enjoying it, but, you know, I kind of quite, quite like this now. With a final score of Cardiff Met nil, Wrexham 3, I'm Mark Griffiths from Wrexham AFC.